Oh, it's that time again. It's King Slayer Hoops, and welcome back to 2K Film Room, where we break down various NBA 2K gameplay. Today, we're going to be taking a look at my quote-unquote secret playbook, the Oklahoma City Thunder playbook. Why is it a secret? Because nobody uses the Thunder playbook in, in my team or anything like that. Billy Donovan is trash. We all know this. But this playbook is really reliable, and I have eight really nasty money plays for you guys today. So we're going to get into it in 2KU mode. Let's start off by looking at, uh, first of all, what the plays are. So you're going to go to options, going to go to coach settings, offensive settings, and then in play selection right here, these are the plays that you're going to set. They're called quick 1-2 STS, quick 1-4 rip, quick 3 punch motion, cut 3 horns, give 5-1 quick 1, punch 4 rip hammer, ISO 1-2 rip, and ISO 3-2 quick. Now, if you follow this channel, You've seen a couple of these plays before, but let's jump into the first one, which is called Quick 1-2 STS. Just going to show you guys a few options to score with this. A lot of people use this play, like a lot, a lot. I see this play run pretty often online, but let's start off here. You're going to see there's a pin down screen, and Steven Adams is going to come over, set an on-ball screen, and at the same time, there's an off-ball screen for Shea Julius Alexander. He gets free and knocks down an open three there. So that's one option. Another option to this play looks like this. So we're gonna step up with Chris Paul. There's gonna be that pin down screen for Steven Adams once again. He's gonna come set a screen for your ball handler. And there's that off ball screen at the same time. But let's say Shea doesn't get the shot off here. On the weak side, there's gonna be another screen. Steven Adams comes over and sets a screen for Dort. Yes, his last name is Dort. Lou Dort, look him up. All right, next play is called Quick 1-4 Rip. So let's show you guys the first option for this play. It's gonna start off in the middle of the court right here with Chris Paul. We're gonna get it to almost that high post area. Lou Dort's gonna handle. And you're gonna see right here, there's gonna be double screens, almost elevator screens. And right here, Danilo Gallinari knocks it down for three. So that's one option. Another option, we can get it to Lou Dort right here. Chris Paul, gonna swing around once again. And you're gonna see, so here's those almost elevator-ish screens. Let's pretend they don't work, right? So they don't work, you're gonna see, then Shea is gonna receive two elevator screens of his own. You see that? So that's kind of tricky. So it's gonna make the defender think that the screens didn't work, but then they just reset with different personnel. So I like that option a lot. Another option, we get it to Lou Dort. We hold triangle as Chris Paul is swinging around. He cuts the basket, easy layup. Okay, so that's a really, really nasty play with a few tricky options. Another good play is called quick three punch motion. Anytime we see punch, we know that there's gonna be a post up action involved, right? So we start off by swinging the ball, gonna get it into the post right here. There's gonna be a screen. Steven Adams looking to see what's available. You're gonna see right here, Chris Paul gonna cut after that off ball screen and gets an easy layup. Okay, another option for this quick three punch motion play. We swing the ball once again, gonna get it back down into the post here. Steven Adams, okay. And you're gonna see Lou Dort comes off of that screen and he was wide open. And if your man's open there, you hit him and take that shot every single time. Now another option, same play, quick three punch motion. Down to the post. So Lou Dort comes off of that screen. He sets a screen, right? That pass to Chris Paul is not there. Lou Dort is then gonna go to the other side of the court and knock down an open three. So a lot of options on that one right there. On to the next play, cut three horns. This is one of my favorite cutting plays in the game. Gonna start off in that elbow area. Danilo Gallinari gonna handle the ball right here. In the corner, Chris Paul is gonna go down and set a screen. We find Lou Dort underneath and he gets the easy one. Now you don't have to run all these plays for Lou Dort, guys, just so you know, that's just how it's working out 
in, uh, in this demo right here. But anyway, here's another option for that cut three horns play. Ball at the elbow, Gallinari again. We're gonna wait for that screen. Okay, so it didn't really work out there. Lou Dort comes around, nothing available. But then Chris Paul is gonna come off of this pin down screen for a wide open three pointer. There was a closeout, but it was too late. So I like that play a lot. Another money play. This is called Give 5 1 Quick 1. So, right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the ball again into almost that elbow area. Chris Paul comes around. Sometimes he's open on that cut, but he wasn't there. He's gonna come off of a pin down screen now. And again, another late closeout. And he knocks it down. Okay, that's the first option. Here's the second option. Chris Paul gonna swing it. Danilo Gallinari is gonna handle the ball from the wing right there. Chris Paul, again, not open on that cut, so we see what else is available. Steven Adams right there. He's gonna move to the middle, and now Chris Paul, instead of being open for three here, he's gonna come around, and we're gonna hold triangle so that he cuts to the basket. See that, and he gets a nice, easy layup out of it. So this playbook is really, really, really sneaky. A lot of sneaky plays in here. On to Punch 4 Rip Hammer. I am sure that I've covered this play in a different playbook because I remember covering it, but I don't remember what playbook. But just as a refresher, you're gonna see right here, we're gonna get the ball into the post. Again, if a play name has punch in it, that means we're working out of the post, right? So Gallinari here from that post position, gonna get it up to Chris Paul, who receives a screen, and we get this little pick and roll action, Steven Adams. From down under, down under. I can't do an Australian accent. I'm not even gonna pretend. All right, another option. Okay, so for this punch play, again, punch means a post up. We get it into the post here. Now you're gonna see right here, Chris Paul comes off of that screen and he's open. So that time we're gonna take that shot with him, right? Okay, easy. And then finally, another option for this play Gonna get it down into the post once again. Any day now? Any day now. We're waiting for you. There we go. All right, Gallinari, down in the post on the right side of your screen. You're gonna see who else but Lou Dort gets open off of a screen for the easiest shot in the game, a corner three. Onto ISO 1 2 rip. This is a very simple play. There's only one option that I'm going to show you because it's so effective. I don't, you know, there aren't a lot of options for this play, but it works so often. And you're going to see right here, Shea comes off of two screens in that mid-range area, and he's open for a layup. That's it. Self-explanatory. On to the next play. ISO 3-2 quick. This one has a couple of options. So you're going to see there's a pin down screen right here. Shea comes off of it and knocks down an easy three. So a lot of these plays I'm showing you today have pinned down screens, have that same action. Uh, but let's look at another option for ISO 3-2 quick. I'm gonna see on the weak side here, double screens, very elevator-like. And look, look who's open there. Yep, it's Lou Dort. Lou Dort. Uh, so guys, those are our eight money plays. I'm gonna show you guys these plays in action in just a second with some online gameplay, but first, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the video, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me. If you found this video helpful so far, hit that like button, really helps support the channel, and leave a comment letting me know what you guys want me to cover next time. Thanks a lot, y'all. All right, now onto the online gameplay. I'm gonna let you guys know off the jump that this was a really ugly game. It's just one of those games where I wasn't making wide open shots and as a result, it was really low scoring. But I like to be honest with you guys and show you guys that these plays work even though sometimes you have off games. You rely on your playbook and you get good shots and it ends up working out for you as long as you play good defense and run your plays correctly. So you can see we get the N1 right off the bat, that quick one, two STS play. Uh, now we're gonna run that quick one, four rip play and we get it to that elbow area. Chris Paul gonna come around, we hold triangle, he cuts to the basket, and they didn't even know what hit him. Nice and easy, reverse layup for Chris Paul. 
We're playing the Minnesota Timberwolves, who don't even have Carl Anthony Towns, so really, we should be blowing him out by like 60 already, two minutes into the game. But like I said, rough game for me, but you rely on your money plays like this one right here. Even though it's ugly, we get inside and get the nice post-up opportunity. Cut three horns. Elbow area right here. The play breaks for some reason. But we're going to take advantage of the spacing. Danilo Gallinari with a nice move to score. On to another money play. Give 5-1, quick one. Okay, so right here, that cut was not open. Going to swing the ball to Nerlens Noel. Right here, we're going to hold triangle. So that Schroeder cuts the basket and we get an easy one off of that cut. So most of our baskets are coming off of cuts rather than jump shots at this point in the game. I'm missing a lot of them. Not going to show you all those highlights. I don't think you want to see me missing all those shots. But anyway, punch for Rip Hammer. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was really nice actually. So he didn't even get to post up there. He got so open off of that screen that we were able to score very quickly. Now, back to that ISO play, we actually missed the gimme, but we get the putback. Like I said, ugly game, right? So let's get a cleaner look on that play, ISO 1-2 rip. You can see right here, that is an easy, easy bucket for Diallo inside. Gets the jam. And we're gonna run our other ISO play now, ISO 3-2 quick. And what I tell you about ugly, what is, what is even going on right here? I totally screwed this play up. If you mess a play up, we go into our simple pick and roll right here. We'll step back from Chris Paul, and I don't even know how that went in, bruh. I don't even know. I'd be mad if I was my opponent, because I, I totally screwed that play up, but it happens. So we keep relying on our playbook here, cut three horns. The play breaks again. I don't know what's going on today. Little spin move for Danilo. Ugly shot. Ugly, ugly game. Overall, just filthy game. We're going to keep it pushing. Quick 1-4 rip. We're going to find Gallinari for 3. Oh my goodness. That was pretty well defended too. Gallo from way downtown. But now we go to quick 1-4 rip once again. There are those screens. Mike Muscala inside. Oh, just, just another ugly play. Another one. Don't quit. Don't give up, me. Hang in there. We're down by one to the Timberwolves somehow. The Timberwolves without Towns are like one of the worst teams in the game. But Mike Muscala. We're going to go with the Mike Muscala post-up. I'm feeling good right now. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't quit right there. How you give up a post-up to Mike Muscala? Come on. All right. On to ISO 3-2 quick. He was not open off of the pin down. So we call for another cut with triangle. There's an and one. And that is going to get us going here. We are up by one point now. Lou Dort handling. Another cut inside for Chris Paul. He dumps it off to Steven Adams with the little jumper. Lead starting to open up a little bit. Give 5-1 quick one now. We look for Chris Paul on the cut there. We got him. We are killing him with these cuts, with these off-ball screens, because our shot is just not falling. ISO 1-2 rip, one of the most reliable plays in this playbook. Oh my goodness, Shea, throwing it down. And ladies and gentlemen, despite how ugly that was, we end up winning the game by 15 because we stuck to our playbook. We waited, we only took open shots, even though we missed a bunch of them. But we got high percentage shots inside. You can see we shot two for 10 from three. So we got 58 points off of mostly two pointers. We won bench points. We won assists. And we at least tied in turnovers. And I always tell you guys, those are the most important factors in winning. But guys, hope you appreciated that really ugly game today. Hope you appreciate these eight money plays. Like I said, I really like this playbook. It's one of my go-to playbooks believe it or not. It's probably pretty cheap in my team. Let me know in the comments section if this was helpful to you. Let me know what you want me to cover next. And until next time, happy gaming, y'all.